here is a savage bodyweight workout to help you build that savage power and explosiveness. Let's get into it. Here you go. First, you're going to start off with 10 minutes of jumping rope. Of course, jumping rope is an excellent workout to get everything going. Now, this workout is going to be plyometrics. So when you're jumping rope, you want to make sure that you really get a good warm up in. You really want to push your pace. So that way, all of your tendons in your knees, your elbows, your hips, all of your muscles are fired up, ready to go. And of course, when you push it hard on jumping rope, this will help to carry over into improving your athleticism. Whether you're a grappler, boxer, Muay Thai specialist, kickboxer, no matter. Jumping rope will always aid in your athleticism for any combat sport. Even if you're a Kung Fu specialist, white crane, tiger claw, doesn't matter. You jump the rope really hard. You get really good at jumping the rope. It'll really help you to float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, just be a beast and whatever it is you're doing. Right after that, you're going to do five sets of five clapping push-ups followed by five jumping squats. With the clapping push-ups, you want to clap as fast as you possibly can. Just keep it as low as possible. On the jumps, you want to get as much height as you possibly can. As you can see, five, boom, right into the jumps. One, touch the ground, touch the ground, boom, up. Touch the ground as high as you possibly can. Try to float. You want to rest about three to four minutes in between each set. It's not about burning out the muscle. You're really just trying to explode. All right. Then right after those five sets, you're going to do five sets of the same thing. Five clapping push-ups followed by five tuck jumps this time. For the tuck jumps, you really want to get that speed. As soon as your feet touch the ground, you want to tuck it in as fast as you possibly can. Boop, 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 boop. This will help to build that explosiveness in your lower back. Your lower back muscles and your glutes really are the ones that help you to throw those punches and kicks with power. And you really want to get these tuck jumps in. Here's another angle. Five clap push-ups, five tuck jumps as fast as you can get those knees up as high as you can get that height up right after those 10 sets you're going to go into 10 minutes of power punch shadow boxing for me when i do this power punch shadow boxing for 10 minutes all i focus on is just throwing two punches at a time in this video in this clip i'll probably i threw a three punch combination you don't want to do that it slips here and there i'm just so used to punching like four or more you know, when I'm lighting somebody up, I'm going to light them up, all right? <laughs> but for these 10 minutes, you're just going to focus on one to two punches. And those one to two punches for 10 minutes, you're going to throw them as hard as you possibly can. Now, after the 10 sets of clapping push-ups with that jumping variations, your muscles are going to be a little burnt out. So when you get to this portion, it's going to be a little hard. But do your best for these 10 minutes to stay as loose as you can. And then when you pop it, Use that same explosiveness that you used with the clapping push-ups and the jumps. This will really help tie everything together. Then, to end, you're going to end it with 10 minutes of jumping rope. This time, really, really push your pace. After those 10 minutes of power punching, everything's going to be inflamed. Your muscles are going to be pumped. Your lungs are going to be burning. And from those 10 sets of just clapping push-ups and squats, you're going to be a little burnt out. So these last 10 minutes are really going to help to push the stamina. You want to be a beast, you got to have that conditioning. All that explosiveness means nothing if you got no gas in the tank, all right? So try this out. Let me know how it goes. And always remember, train hard and be kind.